I've been rowing for over 10 years and I think this is the best gear and what to wear while rowing in Ergen. No. Hey, my name is Eamon and I'm a rower and filmmaker from Philadelphia. I've been rowing and filming rowing since 2011 and over that time I've had a lot of experience in tons of different rowing gear and I've figured out what to wear and what not to wear. These are my opinions and I approve this message. Everything starts and builds up from the uni suit. The one piece, lycra, whatever you call it with nothing underneath it. It's just way more comfortable and just better. We rowers want to be wearing something like tighter gear so that things don't get caught while we're rowing and doing the rowing motion. At this point, I think I've owned over 30 different types of unis. For my indoor rowers, erg masters, and you know even crossfitters, you guys can generally get away with gym shorts for generally short pieces. Uh, however, I found that sitting on the rowing machine for as long as I do, and for at least an hour at a time, I am far more comfortable in my uni. Also for my guys out there, tight bottoms generally help keep everything in place. So I have personally worn some of the same JL medium sized unis for years. A couple coming up on you know exactly a decade at this point and still going strong. The newest gear that has made it into my rotation is from 776 BC. Their fans and supporters of the channel have provided me with some gear to try out and I ended up actually really liking it. Uh, it has a bottom that's a bit like a cyclist non-slip material, it stops it from sliding up and down the legs. And admittedly, while I didn't like it at first, now I absolutely love it. They gave me a code for you guys to use, so 30% off with code GLAVIN30. So there are other companies like Boathouse, Powersport, uh, Regatta Sport, a couple that went out of business, tons of uni companies at different price points. And also, yes, unis can be expensive, but for me, the right fitting and feeling ones are super worth it. You can get them used from the infamous buy, sell, trade, rowing uni suits marketplace on Facebook or from teammates that you know, might quit, but seriously, invest in solid gear. You will not regret it. Build up a rotation for when you do laundry at the very least, at least one for every day of the week, which is the absolute dream. So when it's hot out, a uni is all you really need. Just pull it up and, you know, can walk around with it or roll it down and shirtless. Uh, for me, the uni plus a tucked in dry fit t-shirt is absolutely goaded. It's the most comfortable, breathable, and a bit more acceptable in gym settings rather than just a uni. I like to wear my uni down in order to have like a little kangaroo pouch, you know, for my goodies, like snacks, GoPros, my phone, or a place to tuck in my water while I'm carrying the boat. I don't like making multiple trips, so I generally try and put everything into it. So that's why sometimes you see it like kind of dangling a lot. Also, I think the tight shirt underneath the uni is pretty sexy look if you ask me, but I think I think that's just because I see that's what the elite and world rowing rowers do on the international stage. So when I'm out there sweating and it, I'm like hella sunscreened up, I have to wear something to keep it out of my eyes. So I've grown to love like the head sweats visor. I also have a code for them down below. Uh, you know, I'm an ambassador and everything, Glavin 40. Some people prefer hats, uh, others prefer going in absolutely raw, but I love squirting water like directly onto my head during like breaks. I also know that some people that use sweatbands on the wrist to keep like the sweat from getting into their handles, uh, which ruins the grip of the oar. So there's like lots of gear in hot and warm weather, and it's basically just sweat management. Also, get a pair of good sunglasses. Coxes, I'm like looking at you. Oakleys are some of the rowing meme culture, but also the greatest pairs that I've ever had. This one's currently dying. I've had this same pair since high school. This one I'm gonna have to retire because of super high use, but honestly, just get anything polarized, treat them well, and they'll last forever. I'm always so used to wearing a visor and sunglasses that sometimes I wear it while erging, and and you know, they fit perfectly on my visor, the brim of my visor. And you know, honestly, I just kind of like forget they're there. And I got so used to the weight on my head. That's why they need to get retired. <laughs> Everything else is just minor preference. I wear my running socks or Nike like mid calves, kind of just depending on what's in my bag. If you're in boats with people where you switch around a lot and whatnot, uh, don't go barefoot. That's gross, man. Uh, wear socks. This is me in my boat and I wash it regularly and I'm the only one using it that I know of. Now this is when the weather is, you know, about mid spring or mid late fall. And depending on your state or country, when you're going out in just a uni or short sleeve shirt, it might just be a touch too cold. This is when I start training with like a long sleeve top. So I've been wearing like the same JL long sleeves for like ever. And the material has lasted long and you know been through thousands of washes at this point and i tend to not overheat in them other base layers can range from tops that are like super thin and slightly warm material so this one from like 776 it's pretty sick probably brisk mornings where it's not like super cold this is like much warmer material now 
let's be clear, I'm still wearing a uni by the way, and if it's cold enough in the morning, I might even add a thinnish pair of leggings over top of the uni, never underneath, always over top. That way, if it gets too hot, I can take it off without having to strip bare ass naked. All you rowers with the leggings underneath your unis look like novices to me, and I don't respect your choices. When it actually gets cold, this is where it's like super important to actually properly layer yourself up for some heat management. Things like the tights are on, socks are wool, and my hat, is now a warm cap to trap like the warmth from like leaving my head. The long sleeve is like gonna be slightly thicker, or possibly even doubled up. Maybe instead of doubling up, I'll pair it with an outer shell, like a gilet. Uh, look into some that might have like zip down sides so you can open up so your body like can get rid of the heat and you don't just start sweating a ton. These are gilets. They're like vests and a slight like outer shell thing. I like working out more in these than in like boathouse jackets. You know, I get a better range of motion for the actual stroke and everything and it doesn't like cause me to like not like the feeling of something tight here and then slipping down the wrist. Also, you have to think about what you're wearing when you're getting in and out of the boat, depending on your situation. A pair of slides or slip-on sneakers, like you replace the sneakers laces with like bungee cords like I did. <laughs> Maybe even wellies if you're wet launching, like you don't wanna just be walking out in normal socks or just like in barefoot, cause it might just be too cold. I personally don't like dealing with laces in the cold or dark. So I personally, I'm like lately wearing my Ugg slippers. They're warm and like easy to slip on. And you know, I'm only in a single, so I'm not like getting them wet or getting water in my boat unless it's like raining, which I don't wear them then. This is for my peeps that row in below freezing, get out to row when, you know, basically there's snow on the ground or icicles are forming on the oars. This is when it's dangerous to be underdressed. If the water is liquid and flat, you can still train. Just please be careful. Don't go out without some kind of safety net. So at this point, I'm wearing my uni base layer, rolled down, doubling up on like warm long sleeves and then wearing my gilet over top, my warmest set of leggings, uh, a nice hat, and then a uh, pair of wool socks. Sometimes I'll even wear my snowboard socks over top of everything just to keep it all like nice and warm. And then sometimes I'm even wearing like a gaiter or like a neck warmer just to like keep everything like not exposed. If it is that cold, get some pogies. Yeah, 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 get over it guys. Like whether you think they're bitch mittens or not, like. If it is that cold, you've got to use them. Frostbite in the fingers will stop you from ever being able to row again, like properly. So seriously, we need to get over the, like this in the rowing community. Michelle did it before like a race in Lucerne and she's a beast. I'm not saying use gloves. We still need the right connection and feeling with the oars. Pogies are great because you know, your hands go in and still grab the oars and they're great for year round training. I know a bunch of my friends in Boston that use them and I personally don't think any less of them. You might, but I don't care. Finally, it is an outdoor sport. You're going to get wet, but sometimes not just from sitting in bow pair. Hey, I find that good wet weather gear for rowing is actually kind of hard to come guy for me. I tend to just actually wear my normal gear and getting over just being wet and you know make sure that I wash things after. If it's a super big downpour, then I'll gear up a bit more, but most rain gear tends to be a bit too bulky for me. A lot of my former teammates use their boathouse jackets and other rain jackets on top, but I never really liked them and they always made me a little bit too sweaty underneath and I just, now I'm sure there's some great stuff out there, but I personally haven't used it. If anybody has any suggestions, just leave them down in the comments and let people know. But also an important note, wool socks stay warm even when wet and a sponge is really easy to pack and bring and a great way for getting water out if you're not trying to sacrifice your water bottle and use it as like a, a pail. So that's it. Those are my two cents on what to wear when rowing. I've seen elite rowers in the world wearing the same stuff, so I know it just kind of works and why everyone wears kind of the same things. I'm sure tons of people have thoughts and suggestions on this type of stuff, so definitely leave them down in the comments below, uh, below the like button. Again, I've got codes for 776 and head sweats down below if you wanna use them, so thanks for watching. I'll put on a full set for you. Road for Trinity, road for commercial. I've got 776, I've got my head sweats, I've got my Oakleys. Thanks for watching. <laughs>